呃、uh, ，你们能把视频打开吗？嗨，嗯 ，Mark and Michael, can you, uh, turn on your cameras? Hi, Mark. Um, 是严书元，你的名字怎么说 ？My name is 严书约。严书约。Thank you, uh, Michael and Li Xinjie. Can you turn on your oh, Michael? Can you turn on your camera? Yes, I can. Oh, Michael, can you turn on your camera? Michael, are you there? Yes. Oh, thank you, Mark. I was talking about Michael. He's another person. Uh, Andre, can you turn on your camera? Thank you. Okay, I think we can start now. We'll continue from where you guys left off in the other class. Mm. Okay, so you guys did the homework. So we'll start with the book. The book is The Pigs, the Wolf, and the Mud. Um, I will read one sentence and then I will call on someone else to read the sentence, okay? So three pigs lived in a mud hut. Alyssa, can you? Read this sentence. Three pigs lived in a mud hut. Very good. Thank you. Emily. Uh, do you want me to read the whole page? Yes. Okay. It is a mess, said pig one. But pigs like a mess, said pig two. Mud is fun, yelled pig three. Um, Mark, can you please read it? Um, it, it is a mess, said pig, said pig one. But pigs like a mess, said pig two. Mother is fun, yellowed pig three. Good job, thank you. Um, get this, yelled pig one. She tossed mud to pig two. Mud is fun, yelled pig three. Wu Jing Han, can you read this? Get this, yelled pig one. She tossed mud to pig two. Mud is fun, yelled pig three. Thank you. Um, Yan Shu Yue Yue Yan Shu Yue. Is that how you say your name? Um, can you summarize what just happened on these two pages? We can use Chinese. Uh. 再讲一遍这两篇是在说什么吗？严书元。t 
So like, can you um, read these three sentences and say what they're saying in Chinese? Yan Shu Yue, can you turn on your camera? Yan Shu Yue, can you, uh, do you understand what I am asking you? Um, I don't know if he can hear me, so I'll move on to the next person. Uh, Theodore, can you uh, summarize what these two pages said? Um, what sentence? Um, can you just, uh, like, read, not read. Can you summarize what happened in these two pages? Oh, sorry. So like, say what is happening. For example, for this page, I could say the pigs are saying how the house is a mess, but they like the mess. So what is this page saying? Um, that's this, yet pig wet. She tossed mud to pig too. Mud is fun, yet pig three. So can you say this, like, can you translate this into Chinese? Do you know what this is saying in Chinese? <laughs> okay, I think the question is a little no, confusing. Yeah. So, what are the pigs doing with the mud? Theodore, what? are the pigs doing with the mud? Um, what? Uh, what? What? That's okay. Um, so, um, that's okay. Um, so I'm just asking what, like, in this pig, I mean, this page, you read this page, right? So then what is the pig doing? Exactly. Very good. Thank you for answering. So basically all I'm asking is to summarize what the pigs are doing. Thank you, Theodore. Okay, um, the bell rang, little pigs, 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 let me in, um, wait, okay, Andre, can you please read the sentence? Um, Andre, can you please turn on your camera? and answer, uh, read the question, or okay. read the page. Okay. Uh, Andre, can you please read the page? The bell ring. Little pigs, 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 let me in. Good job. Okay, so, um, what is happening on this page? 
Uh, Andre, can you summarize what is happening on this page, please? Uh, Andre, can you please turn on your camera and answer the question? Okay, um, Andre, could you please turn on your camera? Same with Michael and Chen Si Tian and Yan Shu Yue. Can Nina Niman Lung Bashi Ping that Haima? Michael and Andre, Ching Ba Shi Ping Da Kai. Okay. Um, Yan Shu Yue, can you answer Emily's question? The bear, your little pigs, 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 little me. So, what does that mean in Chinese? What does the wolf want the pigs to do? Very good. Thank you. Um, that was a very good answer. Thank you so much. So, it is a big bad wolf, said Pig One. We cannot let you in, yelled the pigs. You will eat us up. Michael, can you read this? Michael, can you read this? It is a big bad wolf. See, said pig well. We can not let you in. Yellow the pigs you will eat use up this is yelled can you say yelled yeah, yeah, yeah. very good good job michael thank you um zijianni的名字怎么说 my name is Zijian. Zijian. Thank you. What? Why does the pig? Why do the pigs not open the door? It's a big bad wolf. Sad pig wolf. Very good. So why do they not uh, let you? We cannot, we cannot eat to you. Yellow the pigs. You will eat us up. Very good. Thank you. So can you translate this page into Chinese?
Do you know what this means in Chinese? Uh, so, do you know what we means? What does we mean in Chinese? The first word. We means woman. Woman. And then this is bu nang. Yeah. It's woman bu nang rang ni jing lai or kai men. Both of them work. What does yelled mean? So this means uh, Exactly. Very good. So this means um what you just said. So can you say the whole page? Yeah. Can you um translate the whole page all together? So just put what you just said all together in Chinese. Very good. Good job. Is that how you say your name? Can you repeat your name? Okay, never mind. I think that's his name. Okay, next page. Okay. Um, then I will huff and puff. The wolf yelled back. He huffed, huffed, huffed. He puffed, puffed, puffed. Okay. Um... Angela? Um, can you please read this page? Angela, can you please unmute and turn on your camera, please? Then I will huff and puff. The wolf yelled back. He puffed, puffed, puffed. He puffed, puffed, puffed. Very good. Okay. Um. Angela, can you please tell me what this page means in Chinese? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Um, do you know what huffing and puffing means? No. Then do you know what I means? Yes. Okay, so can you tell me what I means in Chinese? Okay, so I means war, right? So he tahui tochi so uh 
<laughs> Can you pause it? Okay. Yeah. Po chi. That's what huffing and puffing means. Okay. Okay, now Angela, can you tell me what the next part says? The wolf yelled back. Can you translate that to Chinese, please? <clears throat> oh, she said it. It was just very oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, um, okay, you can go to the next person. Thank you, Angela. That was very good as well. So, next page is yuck, said the wolf. I cannot huff in mud. I cannot puff in mud. Let's go back to Alyssa. Can you read this page? Yuck, said the wolf. I can I cannot huff in mud. I cannot puff in mud. This is puff. Puff. Yeah. Good job. Can you translate this page into Chinese? So, can you Nina so do you know what yuck means in Chinese? Do you know what yuck means? No? Yuck means like very disgusting. Xin. Do you know what disgusting means? Like Xin. So yuck is like uh to express disgust. Yuck. So the wolf said yuck. And then he said, do you know what this sentence means? Do you remember what huff means? No? We just showed it to you. So huff and puff mean the same thing, and it means this. So do you remember this word when we go back? Can you translate this? Mm -hmm. Um, do you remember what huff means? No, Emily, what does huff mean? So it's like 偷气. 
Does that make yeah. sense? No, she's yeah. That's huff and puff. So when someone goes, <laughs> that's huffing and puffing. So he's saying that he cannot do that in mud. Do you know what mud means? Mm. No, mud means niba. So like, tu he shui nong zai yi qi. mud. So he's saying he cannot huff in mud. So he cannot in mud. Does that make sense? Yeah, basically. So it has huff and puff. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, do you have, does that make sense? <笑>你这个懂了吗？就是像这个这这不是说那个猪不让它进来，so Puchabuhalama。所以这片就是说，yuck就是啊，好恶心呀，我不能吹气，因为有太多泥巴了。Does that make sense? Okay. Wait, does that make sense? Hmm. Mm,老师,你是让我再重复一遍这个中文吗? 这个狼说，我不，我不能嗯吹气了，因为有太多泥巴了。Exactly, good job. So that's basically that's basically all we're gonna read today, and next week we will continue with the second half of the book. So. Now we will do a discussion and a quiz about the book. Uh, parts of the story. So the beginning. Who are the characters in the book? Mark, do you know who the characters in the book are? Uh, maybe uh, three pigs. Three pigs. Very good. There's one more character. Who's the last character? So there was the three pigs, and who was the one who wanted to get into the pig's house? One wolf. Exactly. So the characters are the people in the story. So in this story, it's the three pigs, pig one, pig two, and pig three, and then the wolf. Very good, Mark. The second part of the story is uh, the setting. What is the setting of the story? I think
Do you know what setting means? Uh, I think it's in a uh, So let's go back to the beginning of the story. Where do the pigs live? In a, a three pigs lived in a mud hut. So this story takes place in a mud hut because that's where the pigs live, right? So then the yeah. setting of the story would be in the mud hut. So setting is the time and place. So we got the place. Do you know what time this setting takes place? So is it at in the morning, in the afternoon, at night? Uh, afternoon. Very good. Well, this is daytime, but the daytime is the afternoon is part of daytime. So you are correct. It's in a mud hut in the daytime. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Parts of the story, the middle. Um, the events, the events of the story. Okay. Theodore. Um, can you tell us what happens in the story? Um, can try you try English. English? Yeah. Okay. Um, what happened? A word um, wants go in the pig hall. The pig with uh Yuni Mud. Mud. Mud the pig with with mud um the word get a uh, go 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 to out. Yes, very good. That is correct. So basically, um, the pig's house is messy and that they play in the mud and the wolf wants to enter their house, but the pigs don't let them in using dirt. So the wolf huffed and puffed and the wolf cannot huff and puff because of the mud. Okay, the conflict. So the conflict is like the problem that happens in the story. So, um, Yan Shu Ye, Shu Ye, can you um tell us what the problem is in the story? Oh, yeah. Um, can you tell us what the problem is? Do you understand what I'm asking you? Um, uh, so basically, what I want you just 
like the problem. Uh, do you know what the problem is? Yan Shu Ye. Um, Stephanie, do you want to go back to the slide? Okay, so on this slide, um, can you tell me what happens on these slides? Okay, um, Zijian, do you know what the problem is? Oh, his name is Bob. Oh, Bob, do you know what the problem is? Oh, I think he left the meeting. Yeah, he did. Ask okay, him. um, okay, uh, oh, I'm Bob's just kidding, back. he came back. Okay, um, Bob, uh, can you tell us the problem of this story? Bob, do you know what I'm asking? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, do I ask someone else then? Okay. Um. Well, the answer is that the wolf wants to eat the pigs. Okay. So basically. The conflict is the problem in this story, right? So then the whole story revolves around the problem that the wolf wants to eat the pigs, but the pigs don't want the wolves to eat them. And now that there's only a few minutes left of class, we will go directly to the game. Oh, let's first do vocabulary. So, First word is tossed. Tossed means when you throw something. And then mud means a soft and sticky matter that results from mixing earth and water. So basically, soil plus water equals mud. And then huff and puff, we've already talked about, which means to blow out loudly. A hut is a small, simple house or shelter. And night is the time between dusk and dawn when there is no sunlight. So like, out here is night. Does anyone have any questions about any of these words?
Okay, I don't think anyone has any questions. So we will go on to the game now. Oh, here are some pictures about the words. So to throw, the pig is playing in mud. This is the wolf blowing out loudly or huffing and puffing. This is a hut and this is nighttime. Okay, so let's do the uh, game. So the game is a scavenger hunt. So you find an object that fits the description and bring it to the screen. So for example, if it says a box, you bring a box to the screen. So then I could bring this. This is a box. So the first, um, yeah, the first person to bring it back gets three points. Second person to get it back gets two points. And everyone else who brings it back gets one point. Does that make sense? Uh, How about we have someone translate the direction? Um, Wu Jinghan, would you like to translate the directions in Chinese so everyone understands how to play? If you don't know, that's okay too. I can translate it into Chinese. Okay. Okay, so find an object that fits the description and bring it to the screen. So, uh, 像 a box. A box. If I say a box, 你们就呃找一个 uh, box, 然后带到这个屏幕这儿。所以像这个就是一个 box, 所以我就把这个带到屏幕这儿。然后第一个人把那个东西呃带到屏幕这儿得三分，然后第二个得两分。然后还有谁把一个东西带到屏幕这儿就得一分，然后最后谁有最多的分就赢了，懂吗？ Okay. Okay. Thank you. So the first object is a pencil. Hurry up and. <laughs> Hurry up and find a pencil. <laughs> Whoever finds a pencil first. Oh, Bob got a pencil. Uh, Alyssa got a pencil. Alyssa yeah. and Theodore. Okay, do you know who was first? Um, not sure. <laughs> Emily, you have to uh keep track because I can't see everyone at once. Oh, okay, me neither. Um, I can only see three people. That's not me and you. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, Mark got so many pencils. Wow. Wow. Imagine. He's so prepared. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just give everyone three points because I couldn't tell who got it first. And okay. next we'll um actually keep track. Okay. Wait, who so got pencils? Sorry. If you got a pencil, um, please hold them up so I can see. So Alyssa, Theodore, um, Mark, and I think Bob had a pencil too. Yeah, Bob. Uh, Yan Shu okay, Yan, did you get a pencil? Um, Estelle's mom oh. said Alyssa got it first. Alyssa got it but first. Okay. okay. 
then everyone else can get two points. And now, next one. Get ready. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. How are we going to look at the people? Can you see more than three people? Um, who are you looking at? I'll look at Alyssa, Wu Jinghan, and Okay, Leonor. I'll look at Bob and Mark. Okay, go. Ready, set, go. Something blue. Find something blue and bring it to the screen. Oh, Alyssa got it. Oh, Mark. Oh, wait. <laughs> Mark and then Wu Jinghan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Alyssa was first. Mark was second. Wu Jinghan got one, two. Oh. Wu Jinghan got three. So good. Did and anyone Bob, else? Bob has one. Bob oh, has Bob one. has one too. Okay. <laughs> oh, so many wow. masks. Mark has so many things. <laughs> good job. Okay. Ready? We'll go on to the next one. Ready, set, go. A book. If you have a book, bring Bob. it. Bob? Bob. Wow. Oh, Theodore. And Bob, Mark. Ma Bob, Theodore, Mark. Yeah. And then Wu Jinghan. Hold on. So, Bob, Theodore, Mark, Wu Jinghan, Alyssa. Um, oh, Yan Shu Yue. Okay. Ready? Set. Something that starts with the first letter of your name. That's a little more complicated. If you don't know what this means, you can unmute and ask us. Wait, Mark brought oh. something. I don't Mark, know. Mark, what did you bring? It's about the uh, meeting, meeting class. Can you repeat that? <laughs> I can't, I can't see that. So why did you bring that to, for this? Uh, because it's there is my name. Oh. Oh, because um, it has your name on it. Yeah. So this is saying to bring something that starts with the first letter of your name. So, for example, my name is Stephanie. So the first letter of my name is an S. So I would have to find something that starts with an S, which could be um, a smartphone. Oh, sorry. Hold on. A smartphone starts with the letter S and my uh, name starts with the letter S. So Emily could bring like a, I don't know. Emily, what would you bring? <laughs> Um, I would bring an egg, but that is in my so, fridge. Her name starts with an E, so then she could bring anything that starts with an E, like an egg. So, like, Alyssa could bring an apple or something like that. <laughs> oh. Oh, was that made for apple? <laughs> That's okay. I don't think we have apples either. But anything that starts with an A. And like Wu Jinghan, his name starts with the W. So then you could bring water. And Theodore. Th does that make sense? Say, if you have something that starts with the first letter of your name, you can bring it here. So. Oh, very good. Air. That's, wow, a that's very, so smart. Yeah, that's so smart. Good job, Alyssa. 
Um, does anyone else have something that starts with the first letter of their name? Like Bob, you could bring a book. Or um, Theodore, you could bring, I don't know what you would bring. <laughs> <laughs> or I think Mark went to get something. Oh, what did Mark bring? What did yeah, my bananas? Peppa Pig. <gasps> Does that start with M? Uh, this is a small pig. Oh, does that start with M? Yeah. It does. Mepa Pig. Mepa Pig? It's very cute. <laughs> it is very yes, cute. Yes, it's very cute. Okay. We can go on to the next one. That one's that one was a little confusing. So get ready for the next one. Ready? Set go. Something very soft. Oh, I think Mark already has something. Yes. <laughs> soft. Soft is like run or um wait soft means like run raw run just you like pen how do you explain soft raw run it's like you get some wait gentle <laughs> Um, my um, dog. Yeah. Down. I am a rat. I soft the dentsy. Do you have a? Oh, very good, Alyssa. That's pretty soft. Wu Wu Jianhan also has something. A pillow is a perfect example. So I'll give the point to both Alyssa and Wu Jianhan. Did anyone else bring anything soft? Oh, Mark did. Good job, Mark. And last call for anything soft. I would bring my dog, but he's downstairs. Oh, Yan Shu Yue and Bob. Wow. Very good. Theodore, do you have anything soft? No, that's okay. Okay, we'll do one more and then we have to do the homework. Okay, ready, set, go. Something that is very small. Emily, check like, check people too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you can got something. Did anyone else? Oh, Mark it? got something. Mark? I think those are eye drops. <laughs> oh. Well, Jinghan, what did you get? E eraser. Oh, eraser. Alyssa also got something. Alyssa, what did you get? Oh, Bob also um, got something. Bob got <laughs> Oh, that's very small. Good job. Thank you, Alyssa. What did Bob get? Um, I think it was a toy. A toy? Oh, it's a Lego. <laughs> Whoa, I haven't played with Legos in so long. Mark, what did you get? Me too. Oh, I, I drop? Uh, oh, no. yeah, it's, uh, eyes drops. Eye drops. Very cool. That was a very good round. Yeah. So, do you guys want to know who the winner is? <laughs> uh, let me calculate the winner. Hold on. Okay. Oh, while I calculate the winner, let's do the homework. Emily, you can explain the homework. Okay, so this week's homework is if you were to build a hut, what would you use to build it? So, does everyone understand what the homework means? 
You can give an example. Okay, so if I were to build a hut, I would make it out of pillows because I like things that are soft. So. Yeah, so like yeah. Emily would want to make a hut out of pillows and then I would want to make a hut out of like candy because I like food. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Okay, so now that you guys know the homework, I'll announce the winner. The winner is Alyssa. Yay! Good job. And then second place was Mark. And then third yeah. place was Bob and Wu Jing Han. Hi. Yay! Good Let's job. Stop. Okay. So that will be the end of today's class. Thank you so much for coming today and good job in today's class. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can go. Bye. Have a nice week. Thank you for coming. See you next Goodbye, week. Goodbye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good job. Okay, see you again. See you. Bye. <laughs>